In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create this brush stroke effect in After Effects. So here I am in a new composition. I'll go ahead and create a solid background, which is kind of white. You can rename this to BG for background, hit OK. I'll lock the background. I'm going to create a new solid again, which is black, like this. All right, let me just go and open Adobe Illustrator. So I downloaded this brush vector file from freepig.com. Click the direct selection tool and click all the brush like this. Control C to copy and go back to After Effects. Select the solid that we've just created. Control V to paste. Now you have the brush here. Let me go ahead and duplicate this layer. Control D to duplicate it. And what I'm going to do is scale this to 105 so, so that it is slightly bigger than the previous one. All right, so I'll, I'll just shut off the eye for the first one. And let me just grab the mask point here and delete the ending part here. Select all the mask points and hit delete. Once you have deleted that, just zoom in here and you can just delete these access points because we don't need them. And let's grab this point and this one and move it to the right side. You can just turn on the first layer and you can see till here. So it covers the entire brush, right? So let me just scale even more, 110, something like this, and go a few frames ahead. Select all these mass points, set a keyframe there, and go back to the first, selecting on all the points, you can just shift it over to the right. So what you have is this, right? So I'll select all these mass points. Right click keyframe assistant and easy ease or F9 on the keyboard. Go to the graph and make it something like this. So collapse this and you have this. And you can turn back the first layer and go to the track mat and you're gonna mask it with the alpha mat. And now what you have is this, all right? So once you have that, select these two layers and pre-compose it. Right click, pre-compose and rename it brush, before brush. And let me just grab a text tool and type in the text that I wanted, just set it here. And I'm going to duplicate this pre-comp, control D to duplicate, and put this pre-comp just above the text layers. And I'm gonna mask this as well. So it reveals it like this, right? So you can shift, offset the timing of the brush, like this. And Another thing that you can do with this uh, brush is make a transition out of this. Let me just show you how I uh, create this, create a new composition and drag in the brush that you have just created, which is this. So what I did was stretch it out to fit the comp size like this and duplicate it, put it down, right click and just flip it horizontally like this you can just do it to fit all the frame here i'll just flip it back again and you can just stretch it like this and make some variation i'll do it one more time
horizontally and you have this and you can just you know offset the timing of this however you want once you're happy with that let's select all these pre comps and pre compose it one more time like this and I'm gonna drag in the image that I want which is this I'll just get it down and let me just animate it scale set a keyframe go a few frames and 45 this one right so I'll just put the image just below the pre comp and I'm gonna mask this one more time so what I have is this so that's very easy and straightforward to create so you can just experiment with your own and create some amazing brushstroke animation so that's all i have for this time guys i hope you like the video make sure you check out these two videos as well thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video